Hey everybody, welcome to Drum Fun. This week's Drum Fun video will be discussing music notation. It's very important as drummers or percussionists that we understand rhythmical notation. That is the language of writing down rhythms that we may play on the snare drum or the drum set. To start out, on your sheet, you'll see the quarter note. The quarter note is a circle or dot filled in with a line or stem. It equals one beat or a clap. When you see your favorite drummers on TV or at a concert clicking their sticks to count off a song, they're clicking off the quarter note. Next, on our sheet, we see a squiggly worm-like drawing. That's a quarter note rest. The quarter note rest also gets one beat. The difference is we don't play the quarter note rest. All we do is say rest. Basically, we just count it, but don't play. Next, below on the sheet, we see the time signature. The time signature tells us how many beats in the measure. A measure is where we put our beats or rhythms, and it is divided up by bar lines. So here we have 4-4. Four, four. The top four tells us how many beats in a measure, and the bottom four tells us what kind of note gets the beat. But let's look at the two measure rhythm at the bottom of the page. We have a quarter note, a quarter note rest, another quarter note, and a rest. We also see our time signature is 4-4, four, four, so we'll be counting up to four in each measure. So in a steady tempo, let's try and play this rhythm. It's important that we count ourselves in with a steady tempo to establish our quarter note pulse. Simply just count one, two, three, four, before playing the rhythm. On the one, we'll play the quarter note with our right hand. On the two, we'll rest, meaning count, but don't play. On three, we'll play the quarter note again with our left hand. And on four, we'll count, but rest, or not play again. Let's try. First measure only. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That was easy. The second measure is just four quarter notes in a row. We'll be playing all those notes, start playing with your right hand, but alternate your strokes, meaning the second note is a left, the third is a right, and the fourth will be a left again. Let's again count ourselves in to establish a tempo and beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Piece of cake. Now let's try to play both measures together from the top. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Great. This class has been fantastic. Everybody played the five-stroke rolls really awesome last week. And the paradiddles, everybody's got those memorized. The rock beat with the drum fill is going great. And we added the cymbal crash. Next week, we'll be learning a few new rudiments and a new rock beat. Till then, have a great week and see you on Tuesday.